question 11. If Jesus were physically alive today and preaching the same message as he did before, would you accept his teachings as being valid and viable to our community and your own personal life? I think I would accept that um, being nice to people and having a strong sense of social responsibility is a message that's worth listening to. I wouldn't believe him if he told me that he was the son of God. There are plenty of people around today who tell us that they're the sons of God and I don't believe them either. And even if he performed miracles, that wouldn't do too much to sway my opinion. I've seen Pan and Teller do some pretty freaky stuff on TV and um, you know I can't explain it, but I know it isn't miracles, I know it's trickery. So the answer to your question is probably not if he was telling me that he was the son of God. Question 12. Considering all the opinions you express about the dangers of religion and the world's problems, why don't you offer any solutions to the problems on a specific level? Well, that's exactly what we are doing. Um, we're providing the other side of the arguments against superstition and hocus-pocus. And, and part of that argument is that um, if there's no afterlife, then we should make a difference now, because now is all we have. Um, Christianity, at its core, is essentially just a death cult. It promises better times after your death by the grace of God. Um, we have no say in that. It's all solely down to God's decision and solely down to God's mercy. Um, counter to that, atheists know that if we want a better world, then the only way we're going to get it is if we make it ourselves. Um, of course, the huge problem that we face is that there are thousands of years of brainwashing that we've got to overcome. Um, and, and don't get me wrong here, I'm not advocating that we should ban religion, because I just believe that any kind of oppression or thought control is wrong. But my solution is just to, to let the arguments that rational people make stand on their own logic and, and hope that people will eventually come to their senses. Um, really just proposing rational argument uh, as opposed to blind faith. But that is my solution, to encourage people to take control of their lives and take action to make a difference. And to me that is a much better way of dealing with things than just sitting around and waiting for God to fix it. So, anyway, um, I hope that gives you some insight into what this particular atheist believes, um, even if it took me three videos to do it. Um, thanks for asking the question and for giving me the opportunity to respond and um, peace to atheists and non-atheists everywhere.